it can be very handy to get quick dimension of the parts. Here we got some tools at the bottom of the part here where you can get distance, angle, radius, and section. If I take that part on go, uh, it's going. We, we need to create features to get those uh, information. Like here, maybe I want to get the angle between here and there, or the axis and the plane. So let's create here the axis. I will just create a vector and ask for a cylindrical, uh, a cylinder axis, and of course with these handy tools of uh, smart selection, I can select that and extract the vector. I can also extract the plane and get the plane with this and that. I select both just to overcome the draft angle. Okay, and maybe I want to get the distance between the bottom and that point. So, okay, I will start with distance and I want to get the distance of the height. So I want to get the distance in Y direction between the bottom plane, which is going to be the X, Y plane and that point over here. And okay, you can see that this distance remains permanent because it's right, it's positioned right there in measurement. Now, I want maybe to get the angle between the same plane here and the plane I've created before right there. Or I can create the angle between that plane and that axis over there. So you can create different uh, shapes and different information there. If you want to create a cylinder, you need to create a cylinder here and you will get the, the radius on that. If you want to make a section, a target entity will be, so let's hide that, target entity will be the mesh. Next. And I will get here, I can display my planes and ask to use a base plane. Uh, so I will select a plane on the bottom, that plane, and I will offset it by a few millimeters. And, okay, and, and I will now get distance by picking. And I get distance here uh, just by displaying the parts. And I can always hide the part and I can get different type of information. And okay. Now, if you work on a Plus or Pro uh, version of the software, you could uh, create some regions again. So again, same thing, same parameters, and wait for the extraction of the different regions. And then you will be able to use those regions in order to extract or to measure the di distance on the part. So let's wait a few more seconds. And okay, so display the part as type of geometry. So you get planes and you get things. Here you see that as there is a draft angle, it's not really a plane. I can always go back here and go back to uh, regions and shrink it a little bit just to get the plane. Same here, I got a nice, a nice cylinder and, and so on. So now if I go back to my measurement, I can measure the distance between the plane here and the plane there. And the plane here and the plane there, it's going to be aligned in Z, but if I press no alignment, software select the first entity as direction. It's there. So you can select how the software is going to measure it. Otherwise, here you can select angle. So again, between here and there, you don't need to create features. Uh, and also from here to there to get the opening. Okay, and then now if I go to diameter or radius, method is going to be three points or automatic, so I can get directly the radius of that part, the radius of that part, and so on. And then of course you can make section. So the entity is the model. So let's select the, not the, the, the region, but the model next. And the plane is going to be that plane. So this region, I'm going to offset that region. Of course, I hide that and I can section properties or distance by picking, hide the, the, the model and then get 
distance between here and there on the pot. 